Have you ever had one of those days? The kind where you wake up already feeling tired, like you never even slept. You drag yourself to the gym, but your progress has stalled. You sit down to work, but your focus is scattered, and that drive you used to have just isn't there. For decades, we've been told this is just part of getting older, or that it's all in our heads. We're told to just push through it, to have more discipline. But what if I told you there's a deeper, biological reason behind this widespread feeling among men? What if the very foundation of male vitality is quietly eroding, generation by generation? Today, we're not just talking about feelings. We're talking about facts. We're going to look at the hard data behind the alarming trend of declining testosterone levels in men, uncover the modern-day culprits responsible for this decline, and most importantly, lay out a clear, actionable playbook you can use to protect and optimize your own hormonal health, starting right now. First, let's look at the evidence. This isn't speculation. It's based on decades of research. One of the most telling pieces of evidence comes from a comprehensive analysis of population studies conducted in the United States over nearly 60 years. When you plot the data on a graph, the trend is impossible to ignore. It shows a clear, consistent, and significant drop in the average testosterone levels of men decade after decade. To put this in perspective, studies have shown that a man today at any given age might have significantly lower testosterone than a man of the same age just a few decades ago. One analysis published in the highly respected journal of clinical endocrinology and AMP, metabolism found a substantial drop in a relatively short period. The implications are staggering. It means that a 30-year-old man in the year 2020 could have testosterone levels comparable to a 50-year-old man from the year 2000. This isn't just about aging. This is a profound generational shift. This isn't an isolated phenomenon. Similar trends have been observed in other countries, suggesting this is a widespread issue tied to our modern world. So, the big question is, why is this happening? It's not one single thing, but rather a perfect storm of factors from our modern lifestyle. Let's break down the three main culprits. The first, and perhaps the biggest, is our changing body composition and diet. Specifically, the rising rates of obesity. Here's a simple way to think about it. Your body fat doesn't just sit there. It's an active endocrine organ. And one of its primary jobs is to produce an enzyme called aromatase. This enzyme is like a little factory that takes your precious testosterone and converts it into estrogen. So, the more body fat you carry, the more aromatase you have, and the more of these little conversion factories are actively working to lower your testosterone levels. This is why maintaining a healthy body fat percentage is the single most important thing you can do for your hormonal health. Compounding this is our increasingly sedentary lifestyle. Our bodies are designed for movement. The physical stress of resistance training and intense exercise is a powerful signal to your endocrine system. It says, we need to be strong, we need to recover, we need to adapt. And the body's primary tool for that adaptation is testosterone. When we spend our days sitting at a desk and our evenings on the couch, we're simply not sending those crucial signals. We are essentially telling our bodies that strength and vitality are not a priority. And of course, we have to talk about modern food. Our diets have shifted dramatically towards ultra-processed foods that are high in sugar, refined carbohydrates, and unhealthy fats. These foods promote inflammation and insulin resistance, creating a hostile environment for healthy hormone production. Your body needs the right raw materials, like high-quality protein, healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals, to build testosterone. A diet of processed junk is like trying to build a high-performance engine using cheap plastic parts. It simply doesn't work. The second major culprit is our chemical environment. Our world is now saturated with chemicals known as endocrine disruptors. These are man-made substances that can mimic, block, or interfere with our body's natural hormones. The most well-known of these is bisphenol A or BPA. It's found in many plastics, the lining of food cans, and even on store receipts. When these chemicals get into our system, they can wreak havoc on our hormonal balance, essentially confusing the signals that tell our bodies to produce testosterone. While you can't avoid them entirely, minimizing your exposure is a critical step. 
Finally, the third culprit is the one-two punch of chronic stress and sleep deprivation. Think of cortisol, your body's main stress hormone, and testosterone as being on a seesaw. When cortisol levels are chronically high, testosterone levels tend to be low. In our fast-paced, always-on world, many of us are living in a constant state of low-grade stress. This keeps cortisol elevated, effectively suppressing our testosterone production around the clock. Then comes sleep or the lack of it. Sleep is not a luxury. It is the fundamental process during which your body repairs itself and produces its most important hormones. The majority of your daily testosterone production happens during the deep stages of sleep. When you consistently get less than seven to eight hours of quality sleep, you are literally robbing your body of its prime time for hormone manufacturing. It's like shutting down the factory's main production shift every single night and then wondering why your output is low. Now, hearing all of this can feel like an uphill battle. We've covered how our diet, environment, and stress levels are creating a perfect storm against our male hormones. And while the foundational lifestyle changes we're about to cover are absolutely crucial for your long-term health, I have to share something I recently discovered for those looking to address the core of male performance issues more directly. There's some incredible new research around a bizarrely simple, 100% natural home remedy that takes just seven seconds a day. It's designed to reverse what some scientists believe is the real root cause of performance problems, helping restore that rock solid hardness and unstoppable stamina you had in your prime. It's truly eye opening. I've linked to a free video that explains the science behind it and how it works. You can watch it right now by pointing your phone's camera at the QR code on your screen. I have also pinned the direct link at the very top of the comments section below. This could be the breakthrough you've been looking for. Now, for everyone ready to build that unshakable, long-term foundation for hormonal health, let's dive into our playbook. So, here's your playbook. Five simple, powerful, and scientifically backed strategies to fight back against this trend. Number one, lift heavy things. Resistance training, especially compound movements that engage large muscle groups like squats, deadlifts, and bench presses, is the most potent natural stimulus for testosterone production. Aim for at least three to four sessions per week. This sends the clearest possible signal to your body that it needs to be strong and resilient. Number two, fix your fuel. You don't need a complicated diet. Just focus on eating real, whole foods. Build your meals around high quality protein from sources like meat, fish, and eggs. Don't be afraid of healthy fats from avocados, nuts, and olive oil. Cholesterol is the precursor molecule for testosterone. Also, ensure you're getting enough key micronutrients, particularly zinc, which is vital for testosterone synthesis, and vitamin D, which functions more like a hormone in the body. Number three, master your sleep. Make seven to eight hours of high quality sleep a non-negotiable priority. Create a relaxing bedtime routine. Make your room as dark and cool as possible. Avoid screens for at least an hour before bed. Treat your sleep with the same importance you treat your workouts and your nutrition. Number four, tame your stress. You can eliminate stress, but you can manage your response to it. Incorporate stress-reducing activities into your daily life. This could be meditation, deep breathing exercises, taking a walk in nature, or simply dedicating time to a hobby you love. Actively lowering your cortisol levels will give your testosterone a chance to thrive. And number five, clean up your environment. This is easier than it sounds. Make simple swaps. Use glass or stainless steel containers for your food and water instead of plastic. Choose fresh foods over canned ones when possible. These small changes reduce your daily exposure to endocrine disrupting chemicals over time. It's important to acknowledge that for some men with clinically diagnosed conditions, medical treatments like testosterone replacement therapy are necessary and life-changing. But that should always be a decision made with a qualified medical professional after all lifestyle factors have been thoroughly addressed. For the vast majority of men feeling the effects of this modern decline, the power to reverse the trend is already in your hands. This isn't about trying to turn back the clock or blaming the modern world. It's about understanding the new challenges we face and making conscious, intelligent choices to build a body and mind that can drive in it. 
By focusing on these fundamental pillars, training, nutrition, sleep, and stress management, you're not just supporting your testosterone, you're building a foundation for a longer, healthier, and more vital life. If this video gave you a new perspective, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into your health. Share it with a friend who might need to hear this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.